This is the X-Tool Safety Pro AP2. It is the ultimate air purifier for your laser. In this video, we are gonna break down why this thing is so special. I'm gonna show you how to hook it up to any laser, and then we're gonna figure out if this is right for you. Hey there, I'm Sarah, you're watching Creative Ramblings. We talk a lot about lasers on this channel. If you are a laser user, consider subscribing. I am here with new videos every week. This is a pretty cool new launch from X-Tool. They really prioritize safety in all of their products that they put out, and the AP2 really follows suit. So this really is the ultimate air purifier. There isn't anything else like this on the market right now. This is going to work with any of your X-Tool lasers, but you can also hook this up to other brand lasers as well. So let's start really basic here. If you are cutting or engraving any kind of material with your laser, there is a vent hose that comes out the back and you're gonna wanna vent that out a window. If you cannot vent out a window or you still are getting some smells in your home, maybe the air is coming back in through the window, an air purifier allows that air that's coming out of your laser to be cleaned first and then pushed out a window. So that's traditionally how air purifiers work. I have the original X-Tool air purifier. I have it hooked up to one of my 10 watt diodes right now and it works really, really well. There is some really cool new technology in this one. So on top, we have something called super cyclone technology. So when this thing turns on, it is sucking everything out of your machine. So all of the dirt particles have a place to gather in the top. And then there are six layers of carbon mesh filter on the inside that then purify the air and you do not need to vent this out a window. So you can attach this to your laser and that's it. You do not need outside ventilation. If you want to have outside ventilation, there is a port that then you can put it out your window. Let me open this up and show you what it looks like. This is a pretty big machine, but it's on wheels. So it moves around super easily. So this is the front on the back. This is the intake. So this would be the hose from your laser to the machine. And then down here is where you would vent it out a window if you wanted to. So power switch right here and then your power cord would go in here. You won't often need to open this up, but it looks pretty cool if you do. This is just magnetic and the whole piece actually comes off. And these are your filters. So the first thing on top here is the cyclone. And then these are all filters. Some of these are pretty heavy and they'll tell you what each one does. But each one just looks like an air filter and you can replace each one of these. There's a different life expectancy for each filter and you can replace each one individually. Let's pull out this cyclone and take a look at this. So on the very top, we can pull off the cover and this is the cyclone catches. So the dirt that's being pulled in actually pools in here and these will get really dirty. You can take this whole piece over to the sink and wash this off. So it really eliminates the need for that extra filter and it saves the life of the other five filters because the actual big particles of dirt are being caught in here and then they're gonna be washed down the drain. So you can check that periodically and clean it up. And we can just put the screws back in here and stick this back in the machine. The AP2 is a smart air purifier. So it does work with every X-Tool laser available, all the way from the D1 up to the P2S and everything in between. There are four lasers that have smart capabilities. So it comes with this little dongle that you can plug into the F1 Ultra, the M1 Ultra, the S1, and the P2S. When you plug this in, it connects wirelessly to this purifier. Cutting different materials produces a different amount of smoke. 
So when you're cutting wood, your home kind of smells like a campfire. There's a lot of smoke going on. When you're cutting acrylic, you get a kind of chemically smell. And when you're cutting leather, you get a very different smell. When you select the material in XCS and you're using one of those four machines that has the smart connection, your purifier is going to adjust accordingly and make sure that all the smoke and all the fumes are going to get pulled out because it's a different power and speed for different materials. The AP2 does work with other machines like the D1, the M1, and the F1. It just won't have those auto capabilities. There are four modes that you can set this on and there's buttons right on top so you can set your purifier appropriately. And once you start using it, you're gonna determine do I need it on full blast all the time or can I notch it down a little bit for certain materials. So let's get this hooked up to the F1 Ultra first. I have the F1 Ultra here. This is the AP2. There's a couple different attachments that come with the AP2. This is the smaller one. Um, and this is the standard one that's going to work for the F1 Ultra and the S1. And I'm just gonna twist it onto here. And then the back of this can attach to the machine. And the dongle's just gonna go in the side port on the F1 Ultra. So I'm in Xtool Creative Space. My Xtool F1 is updated and I have the newest version of software. So if I go to device settings, I can come down to accessory information and I can make sure that my AP2 is connected. And now I've got the AP2 connected right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a project. So my project is all ready to go. And up here in the top right corner, you can see that my F1 Ultra is connected and then the AP2 is connected. Now, because I'm using it with the F1 Ultra, the filter is going to automatically pick the settings for basswood because I've identified three millimeter basswood up on top here. If I wanted to change these settings, you can come down here to the accessory panel. You could see that that's connected. And if I scroll down, you can change the airflow level. You can change how long the purifier is going to stay on. And then you can mess around with the power of each filter. So right now it's working really well for me in auto. So I'm going to leave that, but you do have the option to play around with it if you need it. Okay, so it just got done cutting. The purifier is still running because it's gonna run for about 10 seconds after it's done. And I purposely cut this at a little bit higher speed. So it burned a little, it charred a little. And you saw in that video, the smoke just being sucked out of here through the F1 Ultra and into here. Anytime I cut basswood, and I have a lot of lasers, I cut a lot of basswood, I get a smell. Even when I'm venting out a window, when I have a purifier, when I have an inline fan, there's a little bit of a smell. It's not harmful, it's kind of annoying. I'm sitting right here and I smell nothing. Like I'm really, really trying to smell that burnt wood and I don't smell a thing. Now I have left this shut, I have not shut it yet. What's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to smell something. Honestly, the wood smells a little bit but there is no odor. And I, I really cut that on high power because I, I wanted to see what would happen if we really created a lot of char. I'm impressed. I am very impressed that this is pulling out as much smoke as it does and it is not vented out a window. So I think we did a good overview of what the AP2 is, how it works, and how it cleans the air around us. I think the big question is, do you need this? Is it right for you? So as I said before, I own one air purifier. It is an X-Tool air purifier. I use it on a laser that is a little bit further away from the window and produces a little bit more smoke. So I have that laser vented into the purifier and then the purifier out the window. All of my other lasers are a direct vent out my window. I am fortunate enough that I have lots of windows in my laser space, so I'm able to get the air out. On some of them, I have an inline fan hooked up, which helps pull that air even more. If you are in a situation where you are venting out a window 
and you're still getting smoke and odors in your room and it's bothering you and you want it out, you probably need a purifier. If you're in a situation where you do not have a window to vent out of and you're looking at putting a permanent hole in your wall, a purifier is probably right for you. If you're going to look at a purifier, I think this one is amazing. There are so many out there on the market that uh, the filters get clogged up really quickly and you have to replace them. That can be costly and it can cost you time while you're waiting for the new filters to come in. So if you're looking for the ultimate air, air purifier, this is it. This just launched on October 21st, so there are some really good deals from x right now. There's a link down in the, in the description. If you take a look at that, it's gonna take you to their deals page and tell you what's going on with this right now. Later this week, I am publishing another video on ventilation, and I am gonna cover all of the different ways you can vent your laser. No matter what brand or what kind of laser you're working with, you need to vent it somehow, whether you're working with a purifier or just going out a window. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and you will get a notification when that video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.